Multiplying rational expression is the same as multiplying regular frac fraction. So if I have a over b multiplied it to c over d, you're simply multiplying across for the numerator and the denominator. Therefore, the product of this two fraction will be ac all over bd. And we're going to use this rule in multiplying the following rational expressions. So for number one, I have x over y times 2m over n. And by using the rule in multiplication of fraction, x times 2m is 2xm, and y times n is yn. And this will be my product for my two fra fractions. Now for number 2, I have 3x over 2y times 7c all over 8z. I'm going to apply the multiplication rule of multiplying fractions. So I have 3x times 7c, which is 21xc, and 2y times 8z is giving me 16yz. And this is my product for multiplication of rational expression. Now for these examples, I have rational expressions that are more complex than the previous examples that I have. So remember, when we are multiplying rational expressions, you also need to think of laws of exponent and simplifying rational expression. All those skills go hand in hand in multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting rational expression. And that's what we're going to do in problem number one. So I have two rational expressions that I need to multiply. So I'm just going to multiply across. 2x squared times 5x is 10x cubed. 3y to the fifth times y cubed is 3y to the eighth. Now, with this um, rational expression, there's nothing more I could simplify in this expression because my coefficient and my variables are already in simplest form. For number 2, I have 2m squared all over 3y to the fifth multiplied to 6mh squared all over 4y squared. By multiplying across, I'll have 12m cubed h squared all over 12yz. Now, before I leave my answer, I need to check if it's already in simplest form. And in this case, I can simplify the coefficient because 12 over 12 is simply 1. So my final answer for this Second problem will be m cubed h to the second all over y to the seventh by simplifying my coefficient. For my third example, I am multiplying 5x to the fifth by 6y to the fifth, so it gives me 30x to the fifth, y to the fifth. 3y squared times 2x is 6y squared x. Now, by checking my rational expression, I know that I can simplify my coefficient and I can also simplify my y's. So 30 divided by 6 is giving me 5, and x to the 5th, and x, 5 minus 1 will give me 4. And for y, 5 minus 2 is giving me 3. So this rational expression can be simplified into 5x to the 4th y cubed. So again, always simplify your rational expression before you leave your answer. Now, in dividing rational expressions, if you can multiply ra rational expressions, you can certainly divide rational expressions. There is only an added step on dividing rational expressions compared to multiplying them. So if I have a over b divided by c over d, all I need to do is to copy my first fraction and change my operation into multiplication. And the important step in this um, division rule will be the reciprocal of your second fraction, which is d over c. So now that you have simplified or you have done the first step of dividing rational expression, simply multiply across and you'll have ad over bc. And that's how we simplify or multiply fractions. Now applying it to rational expression, if I have x over y divided by 2m over y squared, I will copy my first fraction, change my operation from division to multiplication, and take the reciprocal of my second fa fraction. So I have y squared all over 2m. Now I can simply multiply my uh, rational expressions and simplify it if possible. So if I have x times y squared, I have xy squared, and y times 2m is 2my. Now I can still simplify this because I have two y's right here, and 2 minus 1 is giving me 1y, so my final answer will be xy all over 2m. And for my second example, 5x squared all over z to the fifth, 
divided by 15z squared all over x to the fifth using the rule in dividing fractions. Copy my first fraction, multiply it with the reciprocal of my second fraction, will be 5x squared times x to the fifth, which gives me 5x to the seventh, and z to the fifth times 15z to the uh, second power, I have 15z to the seventh. And in this case, my coefficient can still be simplified by dividing 5 and 15. So I have x raised to 7 all over 3z to the 7th power.